Just a, a brief little overview on this. So there are three projects that we have going on right now. So I just wanted to briefly talk about that. We have the first project is Berkeley Road to Highway 96. So what this project is, is there is a preliminary design study in 2014 to 16 to see how we could extend the trail from Berkeley Road to Highway 96. And as of right now, we're, we're going into a final design and development on that project right now. I have submitted for a federal grant, so hopefully we're successful and we can get that section of trail implemented in 2022. And then we have the second project, which is why we're here tonight, it's, that's this meeting. It's uh, trying to find where does, this, where does the trail go from Highway 96 to County Road J? So we're gonna look at some potential alignments. We're gonna have some discussion in regards to, um, is there any way that we can get the trail through the downtown location? I, I know we have it master planned on, within the railway corridor, but right now it's, we're, we're, it's, it's very difficult for us to try to do that. So we're trying to see, is there still any other options that we can look at? as well as talking about some other connections in, in to, to the downtown area. And then the third project that we have going on, we have to go through a master plan amendment. So there's been a lot of changes to the Bruce Fentel Trail. Uh, the Ramsey County section from Larpenter uh, Avenue and then all the way up to County Road J. There's gonna be changes that is occurring with the Rush Line project, uh, we're shifting there the realignment of sections from Berkeley Road to Highway 96, as well as wherever the trail ends up from Highway 96 to County Road J. So that master plan amendment is going to really document what that portion is, where the trail is gonna really end up, as well as being the guiding document for, for future development. So a little bit about the master plan process. So we've, we have a, a, a couple areas that, that we are looking into. So the first one is the review of the existing facilities. So this is something that we started, uh, it was kind of mid-2017. We, we uh, worked with um, Rams County Public Works, uh, staff from uh, City of White Bear Lake, staff from White Bear Township, as well as staff from Regional Rail to, to at least bring up the question and start the process how do we get this trail extended up to County Road J? So we looked at a lot of alignments through that whole corridor, and then we went back and started eliminating some of the alignments uh, as we started getting a better picture of potential impacts or other connections or just, just pure difficulty. So that was completed uh, uh, actually this year. So we started in 2017, this last summer we went out and we did a much more thorough analysis on some of the alignments that you see here today. The public input period. So this is the first meeting. So we're looking at having two meetings here. So one uh, tonight, we have another one on October 25th. And really it's about the discussion of possible alignments and then to further talk about that on the 25th, uh, if there's any new things that, that get brought to the table tonight, we can try to take a look at it and bring back to the 25th. And then there, we will probably have a third meeting. We have not set that yet, and that's gonna be more of a, trying to get down to preferred trail alignment, kind of illustrating what that is and have a little bit more general discussion. As well as the master plan process, that's gonna more or less start next year. So we're gonna start the, the document process, kind of spring of 2019, and then work through the public engagement period through spring, summer, and then by the end of the year, we hope to have that master plan document completed. So there's a lot of work that we're gonna be doing through this whole stretch. So I wanna really talk a little bit about some of the project goals, and this is more specifically related to the Highway 96, the County Road J. So one, we want to refine the potential alternate trail alignment. So where, where do these corridors need to go? So that's why we're here tonight. We have some located. We wanna hear if there's more that's out there, as well as can we determine if it's through the downtown, if we can still fit it through the downtown area. Uh, we wanna provide connections to the Rush Line BRT and to downtown White Bear Lake. 
We want to have additional community engagement meetings as well as this is also going to be a basis for the master plan amendment. So I want to get a little bit within the, the possible alignments and I apologize it's hard for you to see right now but um, I'll try my best and then we'll answer questions uh, afterwards and go through the graphics. So um, maybe what I'll do is I will um, at least go to the board right here. So like I said earlier, we had several alignments. Uh, we had several alignments uh, on the, the west side of Highway 61 as well as on the east side of 61. And as of right now, we have it narrowed down to kind of the west uh, alignment is heading straight north on Bald Eagle Avenue up to Bald Eagle Boulevard. And then we have a bunch of possible scenarios uh, on side streets to get up to the Bald Eagle Otter Lake and then ultimately up to County Road J. So as you go back and look at these drawings, you'll see a lot of uh, numbers that are here. And then those numbers will relate to a board which has shows some pictures and it talks a little bit about what that area is. What does it look like? What are the opportunities? What are the impacts uh, to that area? And then the, the other route that we have located uh, right now is uh, basically on the east side, we're looking at potentially utilizing the Lakes Links Regional Trail for a portion um, of the Bruce Vento and then trying to extend north back up to Bald Eagle um, Otter Lake Regional Park and then ultimately up to County Road J. Uh, and, and again, there's each, each trail connection or trail corridor offers its own unique uh, atmosphere. They have uh, opportunities, constraints, so they have a lot of different characteristics in each corridor. So that's what we tried to at least document here tonight and that's what we want to have a discussion around. There may be other sections that we should probably look at, and if there are, we want to hear them tonight. So, uh, so, and so this kind of, these next two slides just kind of talks a little bit about the opportunities and constraints on, on either side. So the, on the west side, which would be this side right here, as, as we're going up to Bald Eagle Otter Lake. So some of the opportunities we are, it provides connections to, to multiple schools. So we have several schools through this area as well as it, um, it mimics the, the Lakes Links Regional Trail offering kind of a, a secondary lake shore in this location here. The Lakes Links obviously is on this side here where you have a much more of a lake front there. The northern portion of this would be on Bald Eagle Lake where you would have that same situation depending on what route that you take. It uh, minimizes major highway crossings. It also provides connections to multiple parks as well as the, the route. Uh, this route is actually already used by a lot of pedestrians um, that, are, that are coming north to going to the school or actually connecting to Bald Eagle, Bald Eagle Boulevard via walk, bike. So it's already used here today so people do recognize that. Some of the constraints. So the constraints that we have, uh, uh, Bald Eagle Boulevard, it's a narrow two-way road. So there's a, little, there's a lot of difficulty in regards to what a trail could look like on that. We have residential houses on both sides or properties on sides where we have steep uh, topography going down to the lake. So there's, there's some things we really, really need to look at as well as it has a lot of utilities, private driveways, and other type of uh, crossings that we would have to deal with, a trail with, with if, if it's driveway crossings, those get to be kind of a, an impact on the trail. Uh, now we're gonna move over to the, the east alignment, uh, which is Lakes Links, and then there's uh, some potential um, areas where how we can move, move to the north there, but some of the opportunities is we are using the existing Lakes Links Regional Trail. So it's a built, tra it's a built trail right now. It goes up to um, the White Bear Lake County Park. Eventually that trail will extend on the north side of White Bear Lake and connect over into Washington County. So it provides great connectivity. It's less infrastructure that we need to uh, uh, pay for and put in the ground right now. Uh, and it connects to, like I said, there's, there's several parks it connects to. 
uh, City of White Bear uh, Lake Parks as well as uh, the county park system. Uh, it has good connection to the downtown portion. So that, that side offers a little better connection to some of the businesses, restaurants, and shops on, on that side. Um, some of the constraints, it requires uh, crossings over uh, Highway 61, as well as you also have a railway crossing that you have to deal with as well. Regardless on either, either route, we still have to cross Highway 61 or Highway 96. So either one of those are going to have a major roadway crossing. One just has more than the other one does. So as you guys are looking at the drawings tonight, there's some questions that we have, list, that we have listed on the tables. And we'd really like you to think about, and if possible, if you could at least provide us some, some feedback on that tonight as well as there's opportunities to provide feedback afterwards. But the first question we'd like you to think about is, on what's shown here right now, which, which alignment do you prefer most and why? Second question would be is, which alignment do you prefer least and why? So give us some reasons why we really want to know is, you like this because of this, you, like, you don't like this because of that. That really helps us kind of start narrowing down and looking at things. Um, and then again, are there any alignments missing? So if you have a great idea where, hey, why don't you, why don't you look at this corridor? We may have looked at it already and, and taken it off, but it might be a corridor that we just did not look at or, or didn't uh, think to look down that corridor. And then uh, lastly, if you can, regardless of any of the trail um, corridors, or you could define it to a corridor if you want, is, um, what are the trail amenities or uh, local connections uh, that are most important to you from the Bruce Vento Regional Trail? So it's a regional trail. It's meant to move people regionally and provide connections to local communities. So what are the more important areas for um, White Bear Lake, White Bear Township um, that mean the most to you that are connecting to that trail and what would you like to see along that trail?